Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, have I got a triumphant uh, song for each and every one of you this Sunday evening. And just before we begin, I must say, can you see yourself, ladies and gentlemen? Can you see yourself rising up like that, wielding both what looks like Sword Excalibur and Mjolnir? It does kind of look a little bit like uh, Mjolnir and, uh, and Excalibur. Um, in case you're wondering why I asked that, it's because it's always been a special little bonus in a lot of Madawam stuff that this guy right here, or rather depictions of somebody like this in, in a lot of Madawa's album covers, is that this is meant to be you, ladies and gentlemen. You are this mighty warrior, literally wielding the most powerful weaponry on earth, and it all comes from deep within. You are this majestic, noble warrior, ready to conquer the world how you see fit. Because, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, if you are going to be the main character of your own story, then you may as well be... You may as well have, like, a physique and a presence worthy of your stature. And... If you want a song worthy of your stature, maybe that's where you need to get in today. Because this, ladies and gentlemen, is... It's literally basically an album in itself, condensed to 28 and a half minutes. Oh, and also... If you can see the clock uh, back there, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to take notice of it because time is just going to fly by. Because this is the uh, the dramatic tale between Achilles and Hector. So if you do love uh, a bit of your uh, Greek history, then this is going to be an absolute treat. So let's begin, shall we? So if you guys uh, want, want to check out the original video for yourselves, links... Was Achilles Greek? I think I think it must have been. I don't remember them being uh, Roman. Um, I'll, I'll, again, I'll find this out later, just so I could don't hear the mobs coming out. out here. Greek and Roman mythology wasn't really something I did when I was in school, but there you go. So, if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will all be in the description down below. So let's enjoy it, guys. Achilles, Agony and Ecstasy in eight parts. In three, two, one, and. What an opening, huh, guys? What if I can? And then it gets to this. Ready? Oh, my God. 
walls can contain.
And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. What could only best be described as perhaps maybe maybe the best one of the best songs literally ever made but then again maybe even the phrase you know song uh, maybe uh, like is a bit lenient because this is like an entire this is like a movie put to literally <laughs> literally like 30 minutes and you know what's the most epic thing about this this probably says tells a better out a, a better story maybe than some movies that can do in two hours this could tell a narrative it can tell a, a, a story about one of the great legends between the great battles between hector and achilles and it has a, an amazing score an amazing journey i mean the i, I love the interesting enough some of these parts here where literally they will it will it will it will literally like descend into madness from Achilles glorifying over Hector's destroyed body to the part where to literally the armor of the gods section where it sounds it I always imagine that what Achilles is doing is that he's hiding himself away and then he's so sort of like going through intense it's like a workout montage but it's like done with like outlines of gold and it's like all in black so you can only see like parts of his body move as he gets ready for his war against uh, Hector and, and and to be fair is it true that the guy who did the, the all the drumming here was called Rhino I wouldn't necessarily find it too difficult to believe because to be honest this guy like I, I'm surprised they only ever played this song once live you're talking about basically 30 minutes of non-stop action. And then, of course, because so uh, in, to, mu in terms of musicianship, I love the fact that each section felt very, very different from each other. From fast, triumphant, bloodthirsty, harrowing, with, with more depictions of bloodshed. I mean, when you really get to the end here where it goes into the glory of Achilles... Does it even, like, explain for any reason that maybe Achilles was sort of maybe reveling a little bit in this bloodshed and that the god, the, the gods like Zeus and uh, Hades and all the rest see, are just sort of, like, bathing in the fact that Achilles just will just not stop. He cannot be stopped. He is basically the Kratos of our story, where over, his, over the thread of his uh, Petrullius, uh he decides, you know what, no, we're just going to collide, we're going to storm Troy, and, well, hang on, wasn't it that Hector was trying to, like, storm Troy, or am I getting this, uh, or the, the sacking of Troy, I should say? Um, I will, I will certainly, I'll, I'll just try to, because, again, I need to make sure I'm absolutely getting this right, because it doesn't really seem fair to get into all of this. Um, the lyrics describe the most famous part of the Liliad, which the Trojan he hero Hector kills the Greek Patrullius. Patrullius is subsequently avenged by his friend, Greek hero Achilles, in an epic duel. Yeah, I, okay, so it was uh, Hector attempting to storm, uh, would do the Saki of Troy. And I, I must must say right now is that maybe personally my favourite parts of this were like, up, it, it's so difficult to really say like if there's a favorite part of this because every section is grand and epic in its own right from its brutality to its almost heroic depictions of war I mean you, you see how much they Eric Adams revels in the beginning see my chariot run to your ships I'll drive you back to the sea Ah, you came here for gold, the wall will not hold. This day was promised to me. The guards are my shield, my fate has been sealed. Lightning and javelins fly. Soon many will fall, we are storming the wall. Stones fall like snow from the sky. It's... And this is something you... If you Again, if you're first time, a first-time listener to Manawa at all, first of all, it's the single greatest thing to ever come out of New York City. Second of all... They write a lot of their songs, depictions of heroism, of what I can only describe as actual uh, top G mentality, of brutality, war, 
the triumphness of the human spirit. How, how also all manners of heroism and that violence is not strength and compassion is not weakness. It's re it re it, honest to God. I, I'm. I know very well. There's probably a lot more words I want to say, and, and, and I'm. It's you, but you really do have to like experience this for yourself because personally, I'm. I'm still startled at the fact that not only did I not fi did I think that they were capable of doing this because I, I always kind of like felt myself that this they were always they could have always done like a grand epic scale sort of thing. But also for the fact that, again, when you think about it for a second, is that the, the, the guy on the cover, it's that is meant to be us. They place so much weight and emphasis on us being symbols of change, of great heroes. Because history is full of great heroes and great villains. Well, why not we become great heroes and great villains? Use, like, the power of the soul to rise up and challenge uh, the status quo. Why not become legends in our own right in this day and age? The world needs heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we can be heroes even just for one day. And now all that remains is literally the rest of the album. And again, this is just the beginning of it. There's still seven songs left. God, what on earth were these guys thinking? I'll tell you exactly what they were thinking. They were thinking, let's make the best hard rock album of all time. That's what I think they were thinking about. And do I think Triumph of Steel is one of the best hard rock albums out there? Slash metal? Well, I like to imagine when your, lit your opening number is of a 29-minute epic journey, then I like to imagine you must have done something right. You know what I'm saying? I think they're absolutely a great contender. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Well, and and of course the the dread, the death of Petrolius is absolutely like fantastically like uh, dramatic and sad. Oh, friend of mine, how to say goodbye? This was your time, but the armor you wore was mine. I, I, I think I think that was fantastically touching and see it was touching and deep without you know because without what it without saying like it became like too soppy or anything like that and credit to Manawa they are really really good at that they can weave and blend poetry to together and never make you feel as if they're ever talking down to people I think Manawa have the deepest respect for the audience and I don't think they could ever do something like that what they can do is glorious in my opinion so anyway that is achilles agony and ecstasy all in eight parts i hope all of you guys have enjoyed this fantastic journey with me and at the knowledge of the fact there's still the rest of the album to do please make sure to leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below because we want to know what you guys thought of this epic journey for ourselves and i cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video more epic than epic games. Take care and bye-bye for now.